The U.S. Army has begun deploying a new short-range air defense system. The service announced Unit Forward deployed in Germany recently received the initial batch of mobile short-range air defense, or m Shorad systems. The 5th Battalion, 4th Air Defense Artillery Regiment, based at Shipton Kazern in Ansbach, Germany, is now equipped with m Shorads alongside its existing Humvee-based Avenger short-range air defense systems. Viewers may note that Shorad is the first new short-range air defense system to be fielded by the U.S. Army in decades. The deployment assumes importance since the threat from traditional fixed-wing aircraft, helicopters, missiles, and especially small drones have increased significantly. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the striker-based m Shored system will help U.S. Army to counter aerial threats. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. On the 28th of February 2018, the U.S. Army announced that striker vehicles would be modified with sensors and weapons to fulfill an internal maneuver short-range air defense M Shored, requirement. This is in response to a capability gap identified in Europe against Russian unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. With the previous focus on fighting in the Middle East, the U.S. Army had neglected Shorad capabilities, and in future conflicts, it's feared they would not be able to rely on air dominance to counter enemy aircraft. In addition to deploying ANTWQ-1 Avengers and fielding manned portable Stinger missiles, strikers are to be upgraded to buy time to build a lasting mobile air defense solution. Because the unarmored Humvee-based Avenger lacks survivability and range to keep up with maneuver forces and hold off enemy aircraft in contested territory, four battalions totaling 144 Stryker Shorads are planned. The Stryker platform was chosen for M Shorad because it has better protection in regard to size, weight, and power considerations, especially for the possibility of integrating a directed energy weapon in the future. All 144 M Shorad systems are planned to be delivered by 2022. In October 1999, General Eric Shinseki, then U.S. Army Chief of Staff, outlined a transformation plan for the Army that would allow it to adapt to post-Cold War conditions. The plan, named Objective Force, would have the Army adopt a flexible doctrine that would allow it to deploy quickly and be equipped for a variety of operations. An early phase of the plan called for the introduction of a vehicle which was intended to fill the capability gap between heavier and heavily armed but not easily deployable vehicles, such as the M2 Bradley and easy deployable vehicles that are lightly armed and protected, such as the Humvee. The ICV Infantry Carrier Vehicle Striker, is a family of eight-wheeled armored fighting vehicles. It's essentially a variant on Canadian LAV-3. Striker vehicles are produced by General Dynamics Land Systems for the United States Army. It has a four-wheel drive, 8x4, and can be switched to an all-wheel drive, 8x8. 
MSHORAD has electro-optical and infrared cameras for target acquisition and general situational awareness. Apart from these, four small fixed position RADA active electronically scanned array AESA radars are present to help detect and track targets. MSHORAD has multiple weapons. The turret can mount a single four shot FIM 92 Stinger Pod on one side and has two launch rails for millimeter wave radar guided AGM 114L longbow Hellfire missiles on the other side. FIM 92 Stinger operates as an infrared homing surface to air missile, SAM. The missile has an infrared homing and UV detector for guidance and a 3 kg or 6.6 pound high explosive annular blast fragmentation warhead. The Stinger is launched by a small ejection motor that pushes it a safe distance from the launcher. Then the main two stage solid fuel sustainer propels it forward and accelerates it to a speed of Mach 2.54. It has a maximum range of 8 kilometers or 5 miles. The AGM 114L Longbow Hellfire is in US military service today primarily as an air to surface and surface to surface weapon, but it has secondary surface to air or SAM capability against slower flying threats. The SAM capability is being exploited in this case. It's a radar guided missile having a range of around 8 miles or 13 kilometers and a maximum speed of Mach 1.3. The missile has a 9 kilogram or 20 pound warhead. The system can act in a secondary anti vehicle role as the 30 mm cannon is larger than the 25 mm gun mounted on the M2 Bradley and the Hellfire has a greater range than tow missiles typically used for ground vehicles. While near peer rivals of the US, Russia and China possess sophisticated missiles and drones things proliferated in the last decade. Currently, even smaller hostile powers like Iran and North Korea, as well as even non-state actors, are fielding decent missile systems as well as drones. These relatively cheap missiles and drones can wreak havoc and cause disproportionate loss. This is why M. Shorad is essential to counter the changing landscape and emerging challenges. It's to be noted that the US Army is also working to augment MSHORAD with striker mounted laser directed energy weapons. As per the US Defense Department expects, the 1st Battalion of this new laser system will be operational by 2022. The two systems working in tandem are expected to strengthen the air defense capacity of the US Army to a large extent. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.